Yes guys, my name is Callum, this is Guys and Gossip, and today I'm back for another video. Now, it's a long-awaited video, of course. It's not the Q&A, that will be coming out in a few more days. Don't worry, I know you've all sent in your questions, but this is episode three of The Journey. We're actually going to use the same format as we did last video, as I know that was pretty successful. I'm going to talk a bit, I'm going to pass you over to the clip. I'm gonna talk again, I'm gonna pass you over to the, yeah, you get the gist of it. In this video, you will hear me have an interview with my granddad, who has been a fan following, ooh, I say fan, it's a Sunday League football club, but you know, he's my granddad, he goes to a lot of games and all that. And obviously, you'll hear a little catch up with my dad after, all that good stuff. So, take you back, a, a week or so ago, I had a little catch up with my granddad on Zoom, which I'm gonna share with you all right now, so. Well, look at Yes, guys. So today I'm with my granddad, who is involved with the team as well. He comes to watch games. So for the benefit of the viewer, obviously, just just give us some insight of who you are, how you got involved with the team, why you love the sport, and just all about you, pretty much. Well, obviously, I'm uh, Rob Preeg. I'm Mark's dad and your granddad. So, and I've been watching you and Finley play football, because uh, Finley, Mark's managing the team. I go and watch them as much as I can. So that's where it really got me into football. Um, I follow Chelsea, unfortunately. You lot follow Spurs, but, you know, what can I do? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's really... I like to go and watch to see the uh, progression of the team, really, and it's changed quite a bit over the last season. Mm. Um, so it's been interesting to watch. Yeah, so you started supporting Chelsea when all the money came in, did you? <laughs> Long before then. <laughs> so, when did you actually start watching Chapel Cobras? Uh, when your dad really started a team from the, from yeah. an early age. I think they were about six, I think. Five yeah. or six. Yeah. yeah. What, what's been your yeah. favourite part over the years? What kind of watching the team and following them and all that? I mean, if you can ask me what my favourite moment was, uh, yeah. the one that really sticks out to me was the cup final. Yeah. Uh, when uh, Finley obviously went in goal and saved the goal to win the, the cup. So that really sticks yeah. out in my mind. And then I think last season when, when we had quite a few changes, a few boys left and things were changing and it looked a bit dodgy at one time. But, mm. you know, fair play to your dad. He stuck at it and... Uh, advertise for new players and all that, and we had players come in, and we've got yeah. really a good team now, I think, and it's a good team to perform rather than superstars. We've got a team, you know, and it's uh, mm. looking good. Yeah. So I was actually going to ask you. Obviously, the team's changed a lot, but how do you think the current team and kind of style of play differs from other teams that kind of have been coached by in the past? Well, I think it's it's interesting to see that. Um, we're trying to play out from the back, which is, seems to be the fashion, but it seems to be working because it is the, the new rule about not being able to go into the penalty area for the other team. It, it, you know, it just gives them that minute to think or a few seconds to think. And I yeah. think that's worked for us. I mean, obviously, sometimes you've just got to clear the ball, haven't you? But a lot of yeah. the time, they, they seem to be able to do that and it's, it's working mm -hmm. well. And, then, and I think what I've been impressed with is the boys seem to know their positions and their jobs. Which is, yeah, you know, for, for boys at their age, I think it's been a credit to them. Yeah, obviously, teams in the past, it's been quite a lot based on attacking, but I think the defending side's improved quite a lot recently as well. To be honest. Yeah, yeah the, the, the defence has been brilliant, really. You know, yeah. and, and, you know, we, we, and we, we can go behind in games and not panic. They don't panic. Yeah. I think they feel confident that they can get back in the game, you know, which is it, yeah. it's good to see. Yeah. Yeah, the team spirit seems a lot better. And obviously, when we return from lockdown, how do you think we'll fare? Do you think, you know, carry on the form we were on? Because obviously it's going to well, be... Well, hopefully, yeah. I mean, hopefully we'll carry on the form we're in. But it's going to take time, isn't it? Because the boys haven't yeah, been definitely. together and you don't know how fit they're going to be. Let's hope we're all putting in a bit of uh, extra work for the training, yeah. ready for the season. <laughs> but yeah. if you don't know... Let's hope they're not just sat in front of their, uh, their screens and they're out doing a bit of running. <laughs> but yeah. You don't know. Yeah. yeah, obviously it's been a tough time for everyone over lockdown playing football and hopefully returning really, really soon. So, obviously during lockdown it's been a bit different, but when we return, as if you were coach taking, say, Dad got sacked or something like that, or he left the club, uh, is there any changes you would make or what would you keep the same? No, I think it's, it's keep the same as we are, really. 
because it seems to be working. Why change, why fix something that's not broke? That's what I think. And just keep that same philosophy of passing the ball. We seem to uh, you know, come out from defence, go out wide. And we've got runners that are really quick. So I think it just works for us. Yeah. I sound like I know what I'm talking about, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we we can't go into games at the moment and there's been a lot of games that haven't happened obviously because of COVID the COVID outbreak in England and obviously around the world. But do you miss getting up in this cold and wet Sunday mornings to go and visit the team and see the I mean Right. Yeah, I do. I miss going to see it. Definitely, I miss going to see it. But you, you, there is no doubt. You check the forecast on a Saturday night. And yeah. Play, that it's not going to be raining. Cold yeah. one thing. You can you can wrap up. But when it's raining, that's pretty visible. But you know, it's got to be done on it. But you have to go and support them. So yeah, yeah, as much as you can. Yeah. So obviously, how do you think? Uh, obviously, you might be a bit biased because obviously he's your son. But how do you think my dad Mark has fared having done it? Having to coach the team on his own because obviously he's had people leave and he was coaching together obviously he's been helped out by a couple of dads at the moment especially with training and with matches as well filling in for when he's not there and also helping him coach but how do you think he's fared by just doing it with one person one yeah I mean obviously you're right it's going to be a bit biased but I have to say that I think when he was looking really dodgy that the team wouldn't even carry on your dad's determination and to make that happen. And the feeling he had, I can remember him saying to me, he didn't want to let the boys down. The boys that yeah. had stayed, he didn't want to let them down. And I think he's put in the work and they've responded. And uh, I think he's done a good job. I think your dad's in for the Spurs job, I think, probably. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, I think you touched on the cup final that we, uh, that we won a few years ago. Obviously, there's been... Now, I think we lost the cup final as well. This, you know, it's been a bit of success and a bit of defeat. But what can you actually remember from that day? And obviously, the whole occasion and the penalty shootouts and all of that, all the drama around it. Yeah, there was a, there was a lot of drama, and, and, and uh, the game was a, it was a great game to watch. It was yeah. for both sides. You know, all, they all played well. And then, of course, Finley wasn't actually in goal at the time in, in the game itself. And so there was a bit of controversy when he was put in goal, but yeah. that is in the rules. Yeah. Although I think some people didn't think it was, but it is in the rules. So Fenley went into goal, and I can remember, I, can't, I think I was obviously standing with the other supporters, the other yeah. dads and, and your mum and that. And I yeah. said, uh, don't worry, Fenley will definitely save one. Yeah. And, uh, and that really sticks out in my mind. And, yeah. uh, and then he did it, and, uh, and they, we just were cheering. It was a brilliant day, yeah. really brilliant day. Yeah, obviously I think it's brilliant that uh, Sunday football, and especially grassroots football, lets you have the opportunity to follow your like kind of family members that obviously play on the other teams. I think it's really good to kind of get involved with the team and obviously follow them everywhere and things like that. Yeah, it's good. I mean, because like you're, you know, it's nice to, to see them grow and and, and uh, improve as footballers and as a team, especially your own grandson. That's great. But um, yeah. and then you you know you get to chat with the other parents and that and it's quite sometimes I've had occasions when they didn't know I was Mark's dad and they might yeah criticise the, uh, <laughs> the <team>. yeah <laughs> so that's been quite funny at times but, yeah. yeah so mainly I have to say that all the parents when they're talking they all support Mark you know hundred percent and I think they're grateful to him for the time because I mean it's a lot of time he puts in a lot of time yeah. and effort. It's not just turning up on a Sunday, you know, there's a lot to do. So it's, uh, yeah. it, it's, it's all credit to him. Yeah, so obviously thank you for letting me interview you today. It's been really good to catch up and obviously over Zoom it's been hard and rumour has it that football will actually be returning. So will you be at the first game? Definitely. Can't wait okay. for it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. mate. Thank all right. You. See you soon. So yes, guys, that was the interview I had with my granddad on Zoom early in the week. He's a Chelsea fan, but we'll allow him because he is family. So we'll allow him on this occasion. So without further ado, this is a catch up I had with my dad after this. It's only a short clip, but still, you know, enjoy it. And I'll pass you over to him right now. So obviously, I've just been interviewing my granddad and I think we have a bit of positive news about when football could be going up, don't we? Yeah, so, um, so the league have announced that... Um, 
uh, grassroots football can return on the, from the 29th of March. So we'll have our first training session on Tuesday the 30th of March. Um, we've got Easter Sunday on the Sunday. So whether that's whether we're going to be playing game that day or not, I'm, I'm not sure yet, but we may well try and arrange a friendly. And then the league uh, games start the week after. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to get back to it. And uh, um, when you look at the sunshine today and the a, a great weather, it's brilliant footballing weather. It'll probably be raining by the time we come out to our first match. But, uh, but thank goodness we're back. Yes, guys. So I'm going to wrap up the video there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, this is episode three. Also, something I also wanted to say was thank you for all the big support on Instagram. Obviously, I tried a little thing, you know, inspired a bit by 433, you know, choose a player. And that got a lot of love from you guys. So um, I am going to be doing them a lot in the future. Also, I've also got over 500 followers on there now, which I do really, really appreciate. So thank you to every one of you guys. But not thank you to someone who hasn't even followed me yet. So if you're watching this video, scroll on your phone. If you're on Instagram, or even if you're not on Instagram, go and drop girls and gossip underscore follow. I'm also starting up a Twitter account very, very soon, so keep your eyes peeled on that one. And obviously, yeah, another video will be coming out very, very soon. But for now, subscribe if you're new. Leave a big thumbs up on this video. Share among all your family and friends. You get the gist of it now. But yeah, guys, thanks. Thanks for watching the video. And for now, that's guys and guys about. See you later, boys.